Number 15, this is 1954 Proof Washington Quarter in PR60 Deep Cameo Condition. It is considered a rare and valuable coin. PR stands for proof, indicating that the coin was specially struck for collectors using polished dies and planchettes, resulting in a high-quality finish with frosted devices and mirrored fields. Deep Cameo refers to the sharp contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirrored background, making the details stand out prominently. This collector's item ended up selling for $1,440 on July 23, 2023. Number 14 here is undated Sacagawea dollar with very peculiar mint error. Coin is double struck, second strike significantly off center, creating duplicated image of Sacagawea's baby and right half of her bust. Some iridescent hues are evident at border lines of both strikes. Graded in mean state 65, this gem was sold for $1920. Number 13, moving on with his 1937 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition. CAC proven superb gem with 90% silver content and attractive tones around the lower and upper flans. Additionally, the CAC label indicates that the coin has been verified and approved by a certified acceptance corporation, an independent company that evaluates PCGS and NGC graded coins for quality and originality. CAC approval adds to the coin's desirability and market value. It was sold for $2,040. Number 12, 1971, Jefferson Nickel was missing mint mark S. Great SPR 69 cameo by NGC, a valuable and sought after coin among collectors. Noise variety refers to an error in which the San Francisco mint failed to add the mint mark S. This occurred during the production of proof coins, which are specially made for collectors with polished dies and planchettes to achieve a mirrored finish with frosted devices. This gem fetched the sum of $2,100 on July 23rd, 2023. Number 11, 1936 proof Lincoln Sand was brilliant finish, graded as PR66 read by NGC. After a two decade hiatus, proof Lincoln Sand production resumed in 1936. Proof struck early in the year had a satin finish, while later in 1936 a brilliant finish was implemented. The fields display is a mirrored surface, familiar to modern collectors, though without cameo frost on the portrait. Spot-free specimens, such as present coin, are elusive, particularly with attractive rose red and sea green hues. It was sold on July 21, 2023 for $2640. Number 10. Here is 1941 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with 5 full steps on reverse. The 1941 D. Like many Jefferson Nichols, is plentiful in general, however, it becomes a major condition rarity in the higher full steps grades. This enchanting example displays pristine mint luster cast in a delicate iridescent toning. The strike is sharp and neither side has a single notable abrasion. It ended up selling for $3,000. Number 9, here is 2018P Roswell Time in MS60 condition. An error coin struck on 98% iron foreign planchette. A clad time has an expected weight of 2.27 grams. A predominantly steel planchette, presumably made for a coinage in an unknown foreign country, ended up between Roosevelt times. As one might expect from an undersized planchette, the strike is soft at the borders and centers. The gunmetal gray and olive brown surfaces are smooth except for a few hair seen obverse marks. It ended up selling for $2,160. Number 8, a registry grade example of Washington Quarter, 1960 quarter dollar in MS67 plus condition. This is a condition census example of the 1960 Washington Quarter being tied with or other plus graded superb gems for the second finest at PCGS. Expectedly, satiny luster characterizes each side with lemon gold border toning and a few russet flecks. 
The strike is sharp and neither side exhibits bothersome abrasions. It was sold for $3,000. Here is a vividly toned 1966 Canada of dollar, graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS. The regular issue 1966 Canada of dollar is scarce in MS66 and rare any finer. This superb gem is an essential acquisition for advanced registry collection. The strike is bold throughout and the surfaces yield undisturbed satiny luster. Both sides show large areas of crimson, violet, spruce green, and sangled toning. It was sold for $4,320. Number 6. 1968 S. Lincoln Sand struck on a Costa Rican 5 cent Tavos planchet, impressed into a verse of a cent planchet. According to Namista, 4.84 million Costa Rican 5 cent Tavos were struck at the San Francisco Mint in 1968. Those coins were dated 1967 and struck in stainless steel with weight of 0.875 grams and a diameter of 14.92 millimeters. Bronze Lincoln cents have a statutory weight of 3.11 grams, that's the combined weight of a bronze Lincoln cent, and a 1967 Costa Rican 5 cent towel should be 3.88 grams, similar to the weight stated on the insert. A Costa Rican 5 cent towel planchet inadvertently ended up in a bin of cent planchets and was fed together with a cent planchet between 1968 S cent dies. This rarity was sold for $6,300. Number 5. 1942 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. The Washington Quarter struck prior to the mid-1990s are common in MS-68 PCGS holders. The 1942D is a good representation of rarity of these coins, surviving the extent of just six coins in this grade at PCGS with another four at NGC. According to Heritage, this example displays near flawless satin mint luster and a bold strike. Original multicolored toning adorns each side. Sold on July 21, 2023 for $6,300. Another vividly toned quarter dollar, 1951 S. Washington quarter in MS-68 condition. These San Francisco issues fundamentally similar to most other Washington quarters of 1950s, being common in just about any great desired. Yet it is also similar to many other dates, in that it is conditionally rare in the top grade of MS-68, the grade most desired by serious registry collectors, and grade most infrequently seen. The present coin is deeply toned with original mottled multicolor toning and frosty untouched luster complements well defined motifs. It was sold for $7,800. Number 3 1942 Mercury Dime struck on Ecuadorian 5 centavos planchet, graded in MS62 condition with full bands by NGC. A well-centered wrong planchet strike showing some weakness around the portions of the rims where the planchet failed to fill the dies, but generally sharp throughout the interior with excellent full bands definition. Each side has uniform olive brass and golden orange hues with satiny luster. Minimal abrasions are seen. Sold on July 20th, 2023 for $11,400. Number 2 1940 Jefferson Nickel was the reverse of 1938. The reverse of 1938 is identified by the mushy steps on Monticello, contrasting with the reverse of 1940, which has sharply defined individual steps. The reverse of 1938 variety is by far the rarer of the two in proof format, being scarce in any grade and rare at superb gem level. This PR68 coin is one of just nine pieces in this grade, at PCGS and NGC combined making it tight for the finest. It was sold for $11,700 on July 20th, 2023. Number 1. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition. Best in handsome medium rose luster, this premium quality gem is a remarkable survivor of the key date 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. The surfaces are temptingly close to pristine with an overall mud-like, highly appealing texture. 
Holy Strike and were attractive, this coin is definitely a highlight of Lincoln's and offerings. A scattering of original patina in the right of verse fields contributes additional character. It was sold for $40,800. Thank you for joining us on the numismatic journey. If you found this video helpful and insightful, please subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Until next time, and happy collecting!